It's 2024's first episode of Agony Uncles. Are you getting off to a flyer? No? Well, don't fear because we're here to help you through. If you're in agony, that's right, we're your uncle. Go to scottyandmotty at gmail.com if you're having a shit time and we'll help you dig that hole even deeper. That's right, we can't assist you at all, but what we can do is maybe bring a bit of smile whilst you're going through in a turmoil. That's what friends are for. How are we doing, Jay? <laughs> That is the best intro to an Agony Uncles ever. Hey, we can bring a smile to your face while you're going through inner turmoil. I think that is appropriate, that, because as you often say, we don't accept any responsibility for the advice that we give out. And if it does make your life a little bit worse, you can't blame us. Yes. That is legally, like, sound. Yes, or oh, we'll just delete all content and deny we ever did anything. Yeah, I think that works for me. Um, how are you, my brother? I've been better. 2024 has not been kind so far. I've been all right, though, you yeah. know. You sold you not. I, yeah, I, I've not turned back to the drugs or the drink, so, you know. That's, that's the, the first step, yeah. you know, is not, not doing that. So. I hope it was, like, the eighth step. How many is there? There's 12, in there? There's 12, yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you have a favourite step? Um, I should know these. I have done them all. I think... Do you have to do them in order? Yeah, they recommend you do in order. I think making a list of amends was a good one. Right, okay. Was that a long list? It was like the phone book. That's <laughs> Did you not go through it? Well, I can't be asked for that. He's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not apologising to they, him, they no say, way. Yeah, they say, like, if it, if it can cause harm to you or others, you don't have to apologise. Oh, I would have bothered So I'd be like, well, that might cause harm to me because he doesn't know I did that to him. <laughs> so if I go and tell him, he might just knock the teeth out. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to, I think I should hold my hands up there. Let's just leave that amends <laughs> right there. Thank you. Because me getting my nose broke yeah. is harm to me. Yeah. So I don't really need to go around and tell him what I did to him back in the day. So yeah, there was a little bit of that. Right, okay. And and you have to start, what's the first one? Is that admittance? Yeah, I think we admitted, yeah. It's ad admittance, then I should know all this. Um, and then it's, you know, we ad admitted, then then it's turned our will and our lives over to the care of God and all that, or God as we understood it, then, then I'm hazy. I know right, four, okay. four's yeah, the moral yeah, inventory, yeah. then five is reading it out. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I so know a few of them. you did the short ladder. Of the, like, I did, yeah. I, I <laughs> <laughs> was stand a stair, lift up the last Yeah, six. I just, you know, breezed through them, did the yeah. pre version, and then, you know, we, we got there in the end. Yeah, well, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, you know? exactly. Different steps for different... Needs. Yes, there we go. Right, anyway, let's go with your problems this week. What have we got first? Producer... I sprinkle salt on meat for a living and charge idiots extortionate amounts of money for it. Not a question, just bragging more power to him. Yeah, I That's mean, it. listen, if you can charge people lots of money for nothing, then I think you should go for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the key in it. That's the sort of society we live in as well, isn't it? Like, if you notice, loads of people just want to be influencers and that, don't they? Well, it's just them people who do that, the NFTs. Remember when, like, all that was Did you see on? United were tweeting yesterday? Yes. Like, go and get yourself a match day NFT. Like, what is this, 2023? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who does NFTs anymore? If you don't get the memo about M NFTs and how they're completely worthless, <laughs> like, go and get yourself a match day NFT. Oh, right, yeah. Why don't I go and put my uh, investments into Northern Rock and Enron while I'm at it? Uh, any more advice? Bloody hell. Is it, is, is it because of it's him that's cooking the steak or is it the meat or the salt? What well, I don't, what is, what is the... Uh... In, the in the gold in it or something? Fuck, who wants gold on the... Who wants to eat gold? Remember that crap they used to have years ago? Gold schlag, gold schlag or whatever. Yeah, that was gold, wasn't it? Like, like vodka shots, with, gold, yeah. with gold in it. It's just nonsense, isn't it? It's... It is, did you see him at the World Cup as well? At yes. the World Cup final? Yeah, yeah. Taking the trophy off people. Fair play to him. <sighs> I well, it know. was the dude who used to do all that sort of stuff at Old Trafford. Cal Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the fat neck one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm all... It, listen, he's blagged his way to where he is. If he's at the World Cup final... And I mean, moving. he just does that with a bit of salt. Genius. Yeah. I, I, I can't hate him. I can't hate his hustle. I do it's like it, salt, though, to be fair. It's the, yeah, I'm a big fan of meat. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, he's a bit of weird. It, was it convenient that his name was Salt Bay? Ah, uh, yeah. So he thought, my name's Salt Bay. I may as well go down that avenue yeah. is it Turkish that I don't know if the name is. I know I think he's from Turkish Turkish that's not even a thing he's from Turkey the lad right, okay. yeah but yeah. I don't know if it's Turkish but yeah he's making it work for him so well done no advice just keep going yeah and keep bragging man what's your favourite cut of steak Um, you know the, the fat and that yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> you ever had like the Japanese one and the name escapes me now? So I don't understand the question. What's your favourite fucking like sirloin right. rump? Oh, sirloin. T bone. Ah, right. Is that what it is? Right. What yeah. Do you want? Yeah, that's what yeah that's like, I like sirloin. Yeah. Sirloin's my favourite. I had this one in um, Florence, one Florentine steak, and they sold in Italy. It, in Italy, yeah, yeah. And they sold it for, um, I think it's like 67 euros. And Jesus it's supposed to have like for two people. Yeah. I swear I myself. You had a 67 euro steak? Yeah, and potatoes. Bloody hell, man. It was good, though. Was it? Oh, it was good. God, mate, 67 euros. But the thing euros. is, steak, when it's cooked perfectly, it's great. But steak, when it's overcooked, yeah. people need sacking. No, they do. But well, how do you, how do you, don't tell me, you're, you're going to tell me you're a well done man, aren't you? you? No, I'm not a well done man. No, I'm medium. Not medium rare? No. You don't like any blood in your meat? No, man. Medium. Like medium's all right for me. I don't like medium rare. It's a bit too chewy. Yeah. Yeah, and but well done is just ludicrous. That's a waste. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No one's having well done. They say the story about my dad one year. He went to uh, Croatia. You ever had steak tartare? You know, the front like so it's steak that's cooked with like lemon. It's raw, but you cook it with a lemon and all that. Stuff. No, I haven't. No, I'm sorry. I don't know why I had to think you must about have that. Heard steak. No. You've heard of heard of steak raw steak? It's, it's yeah, steak. I'm aware it exists, oh, right, but yeah, I've never yeah. had it. So, um, <laughs> so um, Do you know what I mean, it's like sex. Yeah, <laughs> so my dad we're in, we're in Croatia. I can't remember which part of Croatia it was, but didn't a lot of, not a lot of uh, English uh, speakers there. And my dad, whenever he goes abroad, just adds a different vowel on, and that's because that's how you speak foreign languages. Love that. Yeah, he's proper Brexit. He's not, but you know. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying his best. Yeah, he's like Del Boy. Yeah. Um. Le so, yeah, Gagne. so he's trying to be, he's trying to be a little bit cultured. He goes, oh, I'll have the uh, the steak tartare. Anyway, and he goes like comes out and it's frozen. Like the steak's frozen on a stick and it's just been put on a, on, a, on, on a plate. And he's like, sat there like, what do I do? I said, well, just take it, complain. He goes, can't I do that. He goes, why? Why can't, why can't you do that? It's like a lollipop of meat, right? Like a, like a frozen kebab on his, and, and, and then, so he waits for it. And he brings it back with that. And the, the, the steak's like frozen. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frozen steak. <laughs> <laughs> and then walks back in. Me dad goes like, ah, waits for it to waits for the meat to melt to defrost, and then starts eating it at a rate you'd only eat a, see a hyena eat a carcass. And what are you doing? He goes, well, if you eat it fast, it won't kill me. <laughs> Lovely gourmet <laughs> meal abroad eh, in Croatia. Bit of a delicatessen, delicatessen, delicatessen. Go on, I can do this. It, what, what's the word? Delicatessen. Thank you. If you eat yeah. it fast, it won't kill me. That's <laughs> anyway. Go on. What's next? What's next? Us? Everyone at work calls me fidget spinner and says I'm shit at my job. Anthony, Salford via Brazil. Yeah? Yeah. Leave. <laughs> Next. Sage advice. My name's been mentioned in connection with Epstein's Island. Should I keep stum or defend myself as I haven't been to his island in years? I mean, um, I've definitely never been there ever. Cameron hits an alloy. Weast. Right, have you done anything in Butlins before? Have you done anything in Butlins? Like why, any any place like that? I've been to Pafelli, Butlins yeah. Pafelli. What did you make of it? I was only about nine. It was all right, yeah. but I won't go back there. No. I, pay, I, I like I think I like pissed in a ball pool when I was a kid at one of them places. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm admitting it now live on YouTube. I mean, there's got to be a statute the, of limitations. I don't think Billy Butlins is going to come after you. Well, how long ago did he go to Epstein's Island? If there's a statute of limitations. Is it not a stat? What's the script of Epstein's Island? Like, are they investigating it? And that? Are people getting in trouble? I can't keep my head. Like, what, what was all the Hawkins thing this week? I can't like, keep Professor Stephen Hawkins yeah, has been there. Yeah, with the memes and all that. Yeah, like, what's he doing there? Like, what's going on? Well, he's not there now. He's dead, isn't he? I know, but why was... You know what I mean? Like, well, just because he had, it's like... It's so random. Like, you went, you, like on, on Epstein's Island bingo. You didn't, you didn't I didn't have, have, no, I didn't have Professor had Hawkins. Stephen Hawkins. No, did, no. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, Bill Clinton was on everyone's list. I mean, that's a tapping, that, isn't it? Everyone expected that Are you one. Shocked? No. The, the, Donald it? Trump's name's been mentioned again. I'm not exactly going to pretend that I'm shocked at that yeah. one. But Professor Stephen Hawkins, I thought, what? Really? Don't I get don't it. Know. Why? People like just because scientists can be a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, if there's rumours going around that you was on the island, or would you come out and say, yeah? Well, he's dead. I wasn't, no, not him, oh, other right. people, because there's been like a few other names mentioned and certain people have gone, nah, <laughs> listen, these rumors aren't true, forget it. And others haven't said anything, but do you bring attention to it if you start denying it or do you just allow it? 
Well, people have already got an opinion on this person anyway, so I don't think whether he ch clears his name or not is yeah. going to make any difference, right. to be absolutely honest with you. Okay. I, I, I think the damage has been done, and unless he goes, the person goes to, to jail or whatever, yeah. then I don't think what what's... So you just leave it? I think so. I don't yeah. know. Well, I, I, well, imagine this person had tried before to do a PR camp campaign to, to, to save face, to sort of change his image. Yeah. And maybe he, he, he like tried to save himself by saying he was at a, a pizza hut. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, if that yeah. didn't work, well, well, you know, once bitten. I think we're all right saying that Prince Andrew has been limit, li linked with Epstein's Island. I don't know, I'm not too sure where I lie on that. <laughs> I think our lawyers will deal with that. Okay. As did soon you, as we did, get some. I seen a funny one the other day and he was saying like, can you imagine if it was like one of the victims of um, one of the, like young girls who was there and they had seen Stephen Hawkins and then years later Alexa got invented and like the trauma that must come up when the twin Alexa <laughs> Alexa because I know that yeah, voice yeah, that yeah, was him yeah. <laughs> in the island it's him again yeah I think there's a it's a weird one like there's a few that you go okay yeah you expect it there's a few that you don't personally my advice to you is just don't don't mention it don't bring it up no, other don't invent yourself other people will yeah. let, let them talk if yeah. they want to accuse you of horrible crimes let them yeah Next. Speaking of crimes. I needed some sand for my new fire pit, but it was late on a Sunday and I couldn't find any shops selling it. So I borrow, borrowed some, yeah, <laughs> from a sandbag that was keeping a road sign way down. Will I go to jail if caught? I don't know if you're going to jail. Well, surely not. Surely you won't go to jail if you nicked some sand out of a sand, borrowed some sand out of a sandbag because you uh, wanted to do something for your, for, your, for your fire pit, for your birthday. I mean, for, for any no, day, whenever Jason was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are they good them fire pits? I'm not going Yeah, one. I mean, the, the, the not that I've got a fire pit. No, but how, how much sand would one would one need? Just four inches with on the bottom. Inches. I've heard. Yeah. You know what? I, was, dri I was driving back from the match yesterday and yeah. I, I actually pulled over at the horror yeah. that I saw a road sign collapse that was on its back because and which was causing bad traffic problems. Wow. In fact, there was a pothole yeah. that you were directed to yeah. from the sign, but it fell over. So this old granny had fell in the hole because someone had stolen the sandbag. Someone had taken sand out of yeah, the sandbag? Yeah, and this old granny's down in there now. In yeah. about half seven last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, half seven. That's but, shocking. Yeah. That's shocking. And now that. she's down there now. Is she? Yeah. And they can't get her out? Nope. Oh, mate. Well, personally, I think that sand is actually the property of residents in Salford because it's council property and if you're in Salford then the council work for you so I think you're well within your rights Jason to borrow it yeah 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 do you know what I mean and, and I'm looking forward to coming around to yours next week and seeing how that works exactly <laughs> <laughs> next <laughs> my mate at work has fell out with my boss he moved to another branch but I've been commenting on his social media posts and a few people are giving me daggers around the water cooler Marco Wivenshaw yeah yeah Marco, the thing is, right, when your mate falls out with his with your boss, he's still your mate, isn't he? Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I think if you want to comment on his social media post, comment on his social media post and let the people at the water cooler give you daggers. Just ignore them. That's my advice. I think ignore them as well and score a lot more goals to shut everybody else up around them. I think if you're p p performing in your role week in, week out, then I think everyone around the water coolers need to wind the neck in. If you're not doing that, then maybe just, you know, a little bit, you know, kid gloves and that. Yeah. Just, just for clarity though, if me and you were still working together at uh, an hour long, well, the good thing is we left work at the same time, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, long shut down call centre. We helped shut down, by the way. Yeah, if you'd have left and like you said something and like slagging the company off or whatever, no. I'd, I'd have you all back over the company. Well, you didn't. You, Even me, if we both worked for Man United, right? Yeah. I'd have you all back over over Manchester United. Ah, uh, bro, hundred percent. Yeah, and we kind of did that anyway because when I left, you came and joined me in Malia. Yes. So yeah. we were in it together. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? We have the attitude of, like, listen, if one of us goes, we both go. Body so, if anything, part, I think yeah. Michael could take it a step further. Instead of liking these social media posts, you could just say, you know what, I'm going to join you in that branch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could, you see him, could you see him at Dortmund? Um, they can't afford it. No, anymore. come on. He, I mean, but the only way Sancho's gone there is because we're paying half his wages or whatever it is. I don't think they're going to take Marcus as well because he's on yeah. about 400 grand. Sorry, Marco. Because uh, he's on about 400k. It's ridiculous. That's what, well, that's what we did wrong, wrong, didn't we? We didn't get anyone to pay our wages while we were away. Well, we, it was actually, we did all right though because it was two weeks in advance and two weeks in arrears. And I left halfway through the month. Yeah. So I got the two weeks advance as yeah, well. Yeah, I left two weeks later than you because I'm oh, an idiot. Mate, but I've been scotted. That's been Motti. Agony and Pools is back. 
get involved scotty and motty at gmail.com please i know you're going through hell and going through shit and there's loads of problems that everyone's going through share them because sharing's caring and if it's not caring then at least it's entertaining and that's what we're here for to help you smile whilst you're in denial i've been scotty and that's been motty <laughs>